first step to be calm is protect yourself from the energy of the situation and the people. Be a detached observer. Detachment. The word does not give a very comfortable feeling to most of us because we believe detachment means we will become very... And that's why people sometimes not very sure whether they want to go towards spirituality and meditation. No, 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 spirituality makes people be very detached. We heard it somewhere. We haven't experienced it. But we believe it's not a nice feeling because we believe attachment is very beautiful. Which one is more comfortable, attachment or detachment? What's true? In the living world, attachment is? Is... Attachment is everything? Everything to me right now. Okay. Give me one minute. No, no, forget this. I'll use the mic. Attachment causes pain? Why? Why? You expect. So then should we shift to detachment? It's not possible at all. No, we're not saying get detached. We're just thinking about it. <laughs> we're just thinking about it. We're not sure which one is the right one, which one is comfortable for me. And we know when to say to other people, get detached. We just need to check what does it feel. Sometimes, Two children are born physically joined together. What a beautiful life. Sit together, walk together, sleep together. They can do nothing separately. How much love, na? everything together. Why do they go in for a surgery? Why do they go in for a surgery? So that if one sits, the other one can stand. If one is resting at home, the other one can go to school. Which one is more comfortable? Detachment, physically. Now emotionally. I am attached. Please select one name. Select one name right now. I am attached to. Fill in the blank. No, we don't need to say who they are. You just have to select it. Just select one name. Now, what is the meaning of I am attached to? Which means my mind is attached to their mind. Now, this is not physical attachment. This is emotional attachment. Emotional attachment means their mind is connected to my mind. My mind is dependent on their feelings, their words, their behaviors. I am attached to them. If they are in pain, if they are in pain, I am in pain. Sister, so if your daughter is in pain, then, then I am in pain. And that's good for her, isn't it? Full stop. It's not. Then what is good for her at that time when she is in pain? And then for that, how would you need to be? To give her happiness, how would you need to be? And which means if she is in pain, you will need to be detached from that pain. Hmm. Hmm. It's very simple. Don't look at the word and get scared. See what it means. If someone is in pain in my family, the last thing they need right now is more pain. They need ease, they need power, they need love, they need support. And we say, I love you so much, I can feel your pain. And sometimes I'm crying more than them. 
And even they believe that this is love, so they look at us and say, how sweet, I'm so fortunate to have such a loving family, they're all in pain with me. <laughs> and if someone is detached and calm and stable, everybody looks at them and says, you don't love me? Don't we say that when we see somebody very calm? Detachment does not mean indifferent. Detachment does not mean I don't care that you are in pain. Detachment means I'm there with you, I'm taking care of you, but I'm not going to be experiencing the same pain as you. Because I know that if I create the same pain as you, it's not only I who's going to experience the pain, you are going to receive my pain because I'm attached to you. So surgery. So surgery here. Four members of a family walking down the road, there's a pit, one falls down. The other three look at them and say, I love you so much. <laughs> no, it is when that one falls down that the other three will have to take care that, because only then we can pull them out. Only then we can pull them out. And that's the power of meditation and spirituality. Because when we start taking care of our own mind, energize the soul on a daily basis, our thoughts and feelings are not dependent on people and situations. We are strengthening ourselves every single day. We create the power to be able to be stable even if someone around us is going through a crisis. And every house needs only one like that. So even if three fall into the pit, we need only one outside to pull the remaining three out. Now I need to ask myself, am I ready to be that one? Am I ready to be that one? And which means I'm going to take care of myself. Because like you said in the beginning, everyone wants peace, love, happiness. Everyone wants it always, but those moments when they are going through, they need it all the more. If someone in your family is going through failure, they need support. If someone is going through an addiction, they need support. If someone is going through a relationship breakdown, they need support. Support does not mean people sitting around them. Support means family and friends creating only and only and only pure and powerful thoughts for them, radiating that vibration to them, helping them to create a powerful thought. The morning class that we did today at the center, at the Brahma Kumaris, we have a daily spiritual class. And that class had a very powerful line this morning, which said, powerful soul is a one who does not create waste thoughts. A powerful soul is a one who has the power to put an end to the waste thoughts of the other person also. <laughs> and we've all experienced that. It's not that we haven't experienced that. We've experienced that. We go to somebody with a lot of questions on our mind and we just go and sit in their presence and suddenly our mind becomes still because their still mind has the power to silence our mind. This is power. These are the kind of people we need around us and these are the kind of people we need to be for people around us. This is kindness. This is kindness. People don't need physical support today. People need emotional support. People need emotional support. It's easy to tell a child, don't do this, don't do this. But from where am I going to give my child the strength to be able to not do that? Again, they don't need advice. They need power. Power. We don't need to go and tell somebody, don't drink this. They know it. But they say, I cannot live without this. Now what to do? Now? Now say it every single day. Don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. Is it going to work? No. Worry for them. Is it going to work? No. Cry for them. 
Is it going to work? No. Fill that vacuum which is there in them, they themselves will leave it. It's that vacuum which needs healing. So our responsibility when we say being kind to people is to give them that emotional strength to heal them just by first taking care of ourselves. So let's shift our vocabulary to attachment. Attachment creates pain. Detachment radiates power. Detachment heals them. Detachment strengthens them. Will it not do that? One in a family is going through a depression. The other three people say, how can we be happy when this person in my family is not well? Can you visualize four in a family, one is going through a depression. What does that one need in the environment of the house? What do they need in the environment of the house? Happy, happy energy. The other three people say, how can I be happy when my child is not well? It's not about how can I be happy. It is about I have to be happy to heal my child. I have to. I have to if I want to do something for them. I will have to radiate that powerful energy to heal them. But then how do I do it? I do it by taking care of myself. Myself. So when I'm calm, I'm untouched by the energy of people and situations because I'm detached. I'm calm. If I'm attached, I'll get pulled into their energy. And if they are disturbed, I am disturbed. So meditation means a daily practice of energizing ourselves, and that makes it very easy to be calm even if there is chaos. When I'm calm, I'm automatically kind. I need to do nothing to be kind. If I'm calm, I'm radiating good, radiating good energy to people. I'm kind. I'm kind. If I radiate good energy to people, what's the energy that flows through me? Pure, powerful energy. It goes to them. What I receive from them in return is blessings. It's blessings. An act of kindness will always receive blessings. Blessings. Just for a few days, make it the purpose of your life to earn blessings daily. We all know how much we need to earn wealth. And every day, like, I've earned this much, now I need this much. Now. All the money in the world cannot buy something. And it's at that time when blessings are needed. You have somebody unwell, all the money in the world cannot treat them. And the doctor says, pray for them. Dua karo. At that time, it's not the money. They need blessings. Blessings is not something that I can create at that time when there is a crisis. Blessings is something I need to earn on the journey of my life every single day. Every single day. The easiest way is to give blessings to people and which means to give good, pure thoughts and to receive blessings from people. It's going to work automatically. What I give is what I get. So when I'm kind to someone in pain, I radiate blessings to them. And because I radiate blessings to them, I will receive blessings and my happiness index is going to go on. Simple equation. So being calm radiates kindness, being kind radiates blessings, radiating blessings gets me blessings in return, being happy and contented becomes a natural way of living. I can be rich but not contented. I can have nothing and yet be contented because my inner world has no connection with the outer world. They are two different worlds, the inner world and the outer world. Take care of your outer world, but also start taking care of the inner world. Do not live in an illusion that if I take care of my outer world, my inner world is taken care of. If I work hard and I do well, I will be happy. This is an illusion. I work hard, I do well, I will be happy. Nay, 
I work hard, very good. I do well, very good. Outside world. Outside world. To be happy, I will need to do something in my inside world. My outside world does not radiate to my inside world. It's my inside world which radiates to my outside world. So like we earn money, we need to earn blessings. 30 seconds, close your eyes, see your tomorrow. Scene after scene, many people to meet. Same people which I meet on a daily basis. At home, at work. Maybe a stranger on the road. What do I need to do to earn blessings? Be kind, simple. And if you're going to earn blessings, you're going to be very, very, very rich. Very, very, very rich. Because you're earning blessings. What has happened in the last few years, we shifted the purpose of our life from earning blessings to only earning money. That became the only focus of life. And when that happened, we became rich. When we became rich, we were physically very comfortable. But while doing everything, if we were not earning blessings, we are physically comfortable, emotionally upset. Now I need to do both. I need to do both. Do what I'm doing, working, even while working, being kind to everybody around you. And kind not just in words and behavior, kind in my thoughts to them. Understanding that they are going through something. No judgmental thought, no critical thought for them. No questioning their personality and their behavior. How can they do this? Why did they do this? No radiating pain to anybody. I'm being kind. Caring, cooperation, blessings. You're going to come home in the evening? Going to come home in the evening? Very contented. And when you come home in the evening contented, who's going to receive all that? Family at home. This is a glass of water. Like this. Now I need to keep it like this. It's full. This is my early morning, 6 o'clock tomorrow. My glass is full. I need to walk through the whole hall, meet people, talk to people, go to the camera at the back, say hello to them, come back here, and come back in the evening on this stage with the glass full. Possible? Do everything that I have to do, not just sit the whole day and say glass full, glass full, nay. I have to do everything that I have to do, take care of people, go to work, do a lot of work, achieve high goals in short times, I have to do everything. But I have to come back in the evening with the glass full. Because when I come back in the evening with the glass full, I have been kind to myself during the day and I have been kind to everyone. Can I come back in the evening with the glass full? Hanji? Worth trying, na? Anyone wants to try right now? Acha, how many of you feel that you can do it at least in this hall? Walk around the hall, meet people, say hello to everybody, and then come back after five minutes on the stage with the glass full. Can you do that physically? Can we do that physically? Yes? How many of you believe you can do this? Hanji? While walking, and I have to first climb down in the dark these first four steps here. That means my first morning hour itself is very crucial. Some of us have the class half empty in the first hour in the morning nowadays. First thought of the morning sometimes empties my class. 
आई ओ लेट हो गया फिनिश्ड ग्लास एम टी विच मीन्स वन रोंग थोट एंड नाउ दैट्स गोइंग टू बी अ सीरीज ऑफ रोंग थॉट्स आफ्टर दैट सीरीज नेगेटिव एंड वेस्ट थॉट्स कम लाइज अ वेरी लविंग फैमिली दे कम टूगेदर वन रोंग थॉट इज ऑल दैट इट नीड्स फॉर अनादर हंड्रेड थॉट्स आफ्टर दैट so be very careful about your first thought every morning now this glass full is i the soul i am calm i am kind i am happy i am now i only need to take care that during the day scene after scene people after people different behaviors i work with them i live with them but i don't do this which means while being with them working with them my priority my priority is my glass i will walk around here but my focus will be on this glass and which means in the whole day tomorrow my focus has to be on my mind can we do that can we do that doing everything that we're doing working with everyone living with everyone doing everything but attention that is being kind to yourself taking care of yourself but if i don't take care of myself and i'm only doing everything that i am doing by the end of the day i'm saying stress is natural anger is natural since the last one week that i've come here i've been hearing depression is becoming natural yes so it's time to start taking care of the self and which means begin the morning first with filling the glass first i need to begin the morning with filling the glass that's where the element of spirituality and meditation on a daily basis comes in daily do not be unkind to yourself by saying i do not have time for myself this is the easiest way of not being nice to yourself if there is some person in your life and every day you keep saying i don't have time for you 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 and when somebody else is mean to you now you need this one person to be nice to you that person is going to say i don't have time for you now today and that is when our mind is not nice to ourselves because we did not spend time with ourselves every single day to create a beautiful relationship we only said i don't have time for you so if i want my mind to be nice to me when people are not nice to me i need to spend time with my mind on a daily basis i need to be friends with my self so one line we need to delete today which says i don't have time all my time is for taking care of others we cannot take care of others without taking care of ourselves